I feel very loud. You Am I okay? I'm gonna be honest, normally I have to turn us up in post. So we're good. So we're good, but okay. if you want, I can turn down your headphone if you want to. Oh, that'd be better. Tell me when you're good, 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 tell me when you're good. That's good right there? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Right. You're almost right back where we were. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Episode six. It's like the change of, you know, times. I mean, Why? in the sense of we said we were going to do five, and then we're, <laughs> this is number six. Like, it's the it's the changeover. Like, this is oh, official. Sure. This is official podcast, is what I'm saying. Oh, this is when we need to really reel people in and get them listening. Well, this is and when. Be excited. <laughs> this is when I was planning on being like, this is our first podcast ever. Oh, right. But I didn't know that. Our five but did so great. They did. Yeah. Because you were just like, hey, everybody listen to this. Yeah. And they liked it. Put myself out there. And you. Yeah. So I'm <laughs> hoping at this point, by the way, that all the lights, cameras, everything is like working properly. Everything looks good and is and is good for this. Last night, I went to Rocking Horse Ranch. You which, did. Which we talk about a lot. Should you explain what that is? Did you already? Oh, I don't know. What you're, Where all that right, is so, or what it is? So Rocking Horse Ranch is a resort that's like two and a half hours from us with no traffic. Yeah. Um, uh, they offered me kind of this contract to perform. Do never the same. What? Oh, the it's day. It's never a Monday. No, it's, it's not a, like every, every single... Monday, every Tuesday, every Wednesday. It's constantly changing. Yes, you were right. So fun. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Rocking Horror. <laughs> Most times as a performer, you are performing for a client once and then you don't see them again for another year, if that. Some clients are every other year. Yeah. So for Rocking Horse Ranch to be like, hey, we're going to give you a show every eight days or every week or whatever it is, that's amazing. Yes. Um, so I perform at their resort. I drive up there. The whole point of this whole story, last night I was at Rocking Horse Ranch and I called you, and you were very frustrated. So frustrated. Um, not that I was gone. Not that you had the house to yourself. No. Nope. You were frustrated because for some reason, the upstairs television in our bedroom was not working. Yeah. And important fact for those lovers of reality TV out there like me. Well, I got home. I went... To your mom, she made an awesome dinner. Okay. I dropped your kids off at, you know, their moms. And I went home and I said, oh my gosh, I think tonight is the Bachelor premiere. Oh my God. <sighs> so I was so excited. <laughs> so, I'm so not excited. And then I looked at the time and I said, it's 8 07. So now do I watch it where it's already recording and just kind of fast forward a little bit mm -hmm. or do I watch it real time? So I decided to start at the DVR so I could kind of fast forward through the commercials. And then I was painting my toes. And I thought, I just want to go to bed and I'm going to just relax. I'm going to do my whole routine before I go to bed. And I'm just going to sit in bed. Your whole routine? Like brush my teeth. Oh, like all right, do all right, my I like. <laughs> For some reason, I, I imagine like a gymnastics routine. I don't know, like, <laughs> oh, like, yeah, I did I'm the gonna bars do... and the beam. <laughs> no. I did the pommel horse. That's guys. <laughs> oh, they don't? Yeah. Girls don't do pommel no. horse? Oh, Jesus. They do the vault. Oh, I need so much. To yeah. Learn. So I wouldn't do that if that was part of my bedtime routine. <laughs> but I tried to get into bed and. I like that you're going to prove me wrong on my <laughs> joke, by the way. <laughs> I won't. So I'm like, I'm going to lay in bed and I'm just going to put Bachelor on again. And I did that and then nothing blank. Okay. So it's cable off, cable on, TV off, TV on. Now, now let me try Roku and I'm going to watch The Office again. On, <laughs> what do we even, Peacock, Peacock. Is streaming on. And then I'm like, which, what do we even watch The Office on? I don't remember. I'm going through all of the streaming <laughs> crap that we have and none of it is working. I called you. <laughs> Yeah. And I and I tried to be like, oh, maybe the internet's not working. Right. Which your reply very quickly was, no, everything in the house works except our TV in our bedroom. Yeah. And I said, well, what's not working? And you, I could feel your eyes roll 
on a telephone call. Right. Oh, yeah. Like you were just like, I, what's not working? I'll tell you what's not working. <laughs> Everything. Cable's not working. <laughs> Peacock's not working. <laughs> and I said, well, did you try Netflix? And you went, ah. Like it was such a, you were so not having it. I wasn't. And I knew pre-phone call, because I think you said you were calling me between shows. Yeah. And I said, I knew that you were going to try to fix it. And I was just so frustrated and tired. And I wasn't going to want to hear any help or any solution. You didn't even want to, you didn't want to hear it. I didn't. Yet I was just thinking to myself, don't even mention the TV. And then as soon as I think you were like, hey, how's it going? I'm like, the TV isn't working. (laughs) And I'm home alone. And And now just complaining. It didn't work. Right. You went to sleep sad. <laughs> Tried a hundred more times. I walked into the house at 2 a.m. <laughs> How long did it take me to fix it? A second? I don't know. Yeah. I, yeah you, bl- what did I do, by the way? I'm, I'm you not walked even... in, but did you even come over to say that you were home? You just walked in and then I went wa- to the TV? <laughs> I think you did. No. there. So I had all my stuff with me, so I took all that out of the car. I put it on our dining room table. I saw that this morning. <laughs> I knew that you would. I thought about it. I put it down. And I was like, oh, it's not a good place for it. No. <laughs> but I went beelined for the bathroom because I had to use the bathroom because it's 2 a.m. and I just had a three hour drive. <laughs> um, and then uh, I went upstairs. And as I came upstairs, you woke up like, oh, you know, like in your, what's going on? Strange person in the house? I hope not. <laughs> and, I should be um, sleeping further away from the door. <laughs> I went over to the TV. I. Reached behind, I unplugged it, mm-hmm. and then I plugged it back in. Now, I don't want to tell you the secrets of how I fix things, but usually if you reset things, yeah. and when you have a smart TV and the cable and the internet and the stuff isn't working on matte television, okay. let's just reset it. Let's just let's just let it breathe for and a minute. And you've told me that with my phone. Yes, restart Countless it. times. Like when you're turn having- Turn it off and turn it on. Yeah. I don't listen. No. Why? I don't know. It never comes into my head. Turn it off, I'll turn it on, frustrated. and I promise you that reboot cycle, all of a sudden it's like, ooh, it's like your phone had a little nap. It's like the TV had a 10-second nap and I was like- I relate to that. <laughs> that TV had a 10-second nap and was like, all right. All right, now I know how to work again. Yeah, yeah. I know how to do this. <laughs> but you glossed over really quick that you drove my kids home from my mom's house last night for dinner. Yeah. Like to their mom's house. Yeah. I want to think that's the first time in our whole relationship that you've done that. Without you? Yeah. That like you dropping my kids back to my ex by yourself. Know what's funny about this? I'm going to cut you off. As much as I've gone to your mom's and to obviously Candido, it's like, I know how to go, but not Mm. really. So when I put it in the GPS last night, and I'm like, I don't need the GPS. I've done this a hundred times, and I'm usually very good. When I put it in, it took me a different way, definitely, than you drive drive (laughs) us home. From my mom's house to Candida. Yeah, it took us a different way than usual. Whoa. I've never put it in a GPS. Right. But for you, I thought about it actually last night. Does she know how to get... I know you know how to get to Candida from our house, but do you know how to get to it from my mom's house? I was like, you know what? Let me give her the full address. Well, and I was annoyed that you gave me the full address. You were annoyed? Yeah, but I didn't say anything. And I'm like, how does he not think I don't know how to get there? And then when I got there and it was dark, I'm like, oh, God. So you're happy to give me that. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. You're (laughs) – hold on. I did the right thing. You did. But you were annoyed about it? I was so annoyed. Whoa. I'm like, why would you even think to give me the address? I obviously know how to get there, but – And why don't you know how to get there from here? Right. But from your mom's, I should still know. We've done that a bunch, too. Every Monday for the past – But I've driven. Right. And You were without me. There were a lot of no. stops, signs, and turns. <laughs> yes. like, but we got everyone home safe. <laughs> Which God. is great. Yeah, no, 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 wonderful. <laughs> but listen, I wanted to give you a little credit for like, oh. you know, I mean, the, okay. the, you know, I don't know if that's ever happened before. No. In this but, weird, I mean, weird world we live in. Of, <laughs> we even had a little, um, prior to this podcast, argument tonight about deaf people. Yeah. You know. 
Not deaf make people. Us in so general. angry. <laughs> <laughs> deaf people make us angry. <laughs> um, I grew up with a deaf friend. I speak very slow, weird sign language. No, you know what you're doing now. We were out for our date night. Mm. <laughs> I looked over and I saw a guy like writing his stuff and showing it to the bartender. And you were in the middle of a conversation with me and I was not yeah. focused. You at were all. done. And you picked up on it immediately. I can I can spot well, him. Well, yeah. I can spot him. <laughs> and now I started talking to him, and the entire time I thought, now this is our argument, I yeah. thought I was speaking and signing at the same time. No. <laughs> and you say that I, that's not what I do. No. I, I looked at him yes. and like first asked like, like I – Let's see now, and this is how I know that I was wrong, because I looked at him and I was like, with the inquisitive face, is like, "Are you deaf?" But like, I wouldn't say it out loud. No, I would just like, like, right. That's what you did. Right. Yeah. And then he said yes, just shook his hand yeah. yes, and then I said, "Oh," I said, "What's your name?" And then he signed his name, which was James. We started talking. Yes. But in sign language. Yeah. And I swear on my life and everything, I thought that I was speaking out loud. No. At the same time I was signing. I knew he wasn't. I knew I would have to cover, carry his part of the conversation. Yeah. Like I thought I was going to have to look at you and be like, oh, he said blah, blah, blah. But you don't even know what I'm saying. No, it was nothing. I was talking and, to Freddie. And then his it, friend. But <laughs> both of us were hearing everything. And then I was saying, You're like, you were saying, Oh, it's James. And I said, I have no idea what his name is. And then I called my friend Danny, yeah. who is deaf, yeah. like on FaceTime. Who we do, we call him a lot. We call time. him a lot. But yeah. then you let me know that every time I call him, I don't speak. Which I can't believe you didn't realize that. Because you will tell me you'll help me sign to Danny. Yeah. While you're on the phone with him, while we're FaceTiming him. So my friend Danny lives out in California. Yeah. Today, when I called him, right away, he's in a t-shirt. And I know. A, a, so nice. He's still at work. Like, I forgot that, too. Yeah. He's still at work. I'm like, what are you doing at work? And he's like, it's he's like, it's 4 o'clock. Yeah. And I'm like, I'm <laughs> like <early>. oh, <laughs> crap. It's 7 o'clock here. Yeah. But... And then I start signing to him about like, I'm like, you're in a t-shirt. What's the weather? Yeah. And he's telling me the weather and stuff like that. And you're telling me that entire time I am not speaking out loud every time I sign. Nothing. That is crazy. To yeah. Me. Well, we weren't, we're not fighting about it, but. No, no, I just like, mean like we got home and you were like, like, I had no I idea what was going no on. Clue. Like I mean, you didn't talk to me for the last hour. Right. I was like, what are you what? talking about? I didn't talk yeah, to you. Didn't I'm didn't know like, everything you were... I was saying. I was sitting right next to you. And right. Yeah. And here I am thinking I'm going – I'm this interpreter person between you and this deaf person. And that would be better if you were saying it out loud <laughs> so <laughs> I could I start wasn't. to piece things together like, I oh. know, and I think I am. No. You're terrible <laughs> at it. <laughs> <laughs> well, he had a friend next to him, uh, Freddie, who was a hearing person. Yeah. And Freddie goes, oh, is that your wife? Mm-hmm. Looking at you. Instead of trying to explain our relationship, mm -hmm. I just said, yep. But if you were around Ashley, Ellen, Anthony, and they would say, oh, are you their dad? Yeah. Uh, I can't even explain this right. I I'm saying go what's the, other the way. fastest term yes. to get them to make the connection of what's going on? Right. The first like, time I ever heard just, this, and I'll go the other way, is Anthony's new wife, Ryan, before yes. they were married – she would be out with the girls. Oh, yeah. And people would be like, oh, are you their mom? And instead of her being like, no, no I'm, I'm their yeah. dad's girlfriend, but we're getting married eventually. You know, like whatever she had to explain to yes, figure it, it out. Just it was just easier to be up. like, yep, I'm their mom. <laughs> and she would really sweetly, she would tell me that. Right. I think she, which I love about her. Now. That, that she was like, I said this. And, yeah, and now you know, go like, a little bit past that or whatever else. Anthony, your son, came with me to a juggling oh, show yeah. during a school day where he had off, but the other school didn't that I was yeah. performing at. But I took him with me. Yeah. And they were like, oh, you brought your son today. And I was like, no, he's yeah. my girlfriend. You made it so awkward. Son. And, it and they were like, 
oh, I yeah. was like, but we live together. Like he hangs, we <laughs> were people. Like, no, like, I mean, he's like a son. Like, you know, and I was so weird about it. Yeah, you were awkward. <laughs> I'm so awkward with it. Yeah. Felt like I was lying to people all the time. So that's why I didn't want to do it. But then <clears> I realized it's just so much easier just yeah, to lie. Yeah, it's not a, well. Not lie, no. <laughs> It was just <laughs> again. It's just so much. <laughs> What's the word? It's just so much easier to tell people explain like yeah, it that explain way. Explain it that way. But so label wise, the one label that I don't think there's any term for are Kevin and I. Oh, very true. Yeah, and I have all these photos on my phone. You know how I like to make my photo collages and this and that. And I thought if I post something with him, what would I even say? And then I brought this up to Ryan and she was like, well, we could say ants. I'm like, I don't know, though. It's Kevin is your ex-husband's. And his new wife's new baby. baby. And so I have it's a ton like of your, pictures with him. your kid's half brother. Right. But we always just say brother. Right. It's their brother. Yeah. And yeah. I, I'm going to tell everybody what you did the other day. Um, <laughs> we went to drop off her son, Anthony, <laughs> at his dad's house. Mm-hmm. And she called Ryan and was like, oh, my God, is Kevin there? You dropped Anthony. And then we saw Kevin for 10 minutes. Yeah, she was waiting outside. Right, she waited for you. No, she waited for you, though, to yeah. show off Kevin and you for you to hold Kevin and you to love that kid. And then we left the house and you went, <laughs> oh, my daughters were there. You didn't even go inside to see your daughters. But I get that because your daughters are 14. Like, we see your kids all the time, and they bounce yes, from house to house right. and whatever else. And, like, babies, and I don't babies see, are babies. Babies are babies, and we don't see him a lot. Right, so. and you want to see him when he's and small. And even Anthony runs out of the car and tries to pick him up. I'm like, you're going to see him all weekends. Hand him over. Right. And yeah. it was just a funny moment <laughs> of, like, you I realizing, like, so I was like, oh, oh, God. I asked Worst to see Kevin. ever. <laughs> didn't ask to see my own <laughs> biological <laughs> children. <laughs> he's a cute kid. Yes. That hair. The hair. But it's just interesting to think about. Yeah. Like, what are you to me? (laughs) (laughs) Just a little baby I love. (laughs) I know. He's he's got a. I went into the den and there's a picture of Kevin. Oh, with my kids. Yeah. 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 (laughs) In our house. I just thought it was fun that we have a picture of Kevin in our house. Like, this is not our baby. (laughs) This is our. This is our <laughs> mm, person. All right. It was terrible. Oh, my God. Well, listen, do we want to hit one of the topics we had for oh tonight? Oh, my gosh. Sure. Because we are far and few between. I few wrote down, and far now, between. What did I say? Far and few. And it's what? Few and far. No. Yeah. Far and few between. Oh, it's few and far between. <laughs> yes. That's not real. Yeah. Few you and far between? Few and far between. I'm making you question it. <laughs> <laughs> you made me question everything uh-huh. until I get comments and everyone's like, yes, you're right, Christine. <laughs> All right. Do you want to do – I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ask this out loud on the podcast. Do you want to do Family of Seven, how expensive it is? Or do you want to go Why I Call You B? Or do we want to do Jeep cooking, that kind of stuff? Let's do expensive. But is, again, let's preface this with first world problems. This is very much we a first can't, world problem. Yeah, we can't complain. No. We're, and we we're can do, but. Really just complaining, just I guess, I, like, a, uh, this is annoying. Well, because, yes. Oh, with what you're about to say. For our family of seven, your three kids, my two kids, me and you, just the seven of us, um, we wanted to go see your parents down in Florida. Yeah. For February break. Yes. It is, uh, I'm going to, can I say the number? It's literally like $5,200 is the cheapest we could find. 
Out of different airports. Yes. Like we're no, flying yeah. <laughs> out of JFK, but we're flying back to LaGuardia. Right. Just to find the cheapest airfare possible to get down to Florida and back during February that's break. That's just flights. Yeah, that's just the So it's horrible because if you want to plan any family vacation and you don't have family down there, let's say, that is housing you and that you're staying with, who can afford to do anything? You and I both have cars that could fit seven people, which is great for our family because we're seven. Yeah. So we could fit. But now we're going to the airport. We can't leave our car there because we're flying in and out of different airports. (laughs) Oh, we'll have someone (laughs) drive us. A family member. My mom. My brother. My sister. Your brother. Your sister-in-law. Someone drive us to the airport. Many people would be willing to help us. Yeah. We can't fit in one car. No. So we have to get a limo service. Right. To go to and from the airport. And uh, we're not going to put one kid with no seatbelt or something. Yeah, we're not putting them on the floor well, for is, an hour driving to the airport. Because we're know, not flying out of LaGuardia. I mean, not LaGuardia. Uh, MacArthur. MacArthur because... Even still, I'd be, you know, forget no, it. I, but, My anxiety and, level would be through the roof. Listen, I would throw James on the True. roof rack <laughs> 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 to fly out of there. However, we're talking another $3,000. Yeah. We're lucky enough to have family that helps us and yeah. wants us to be there. But then you get into the just the day in, day out weekend. Oh, it's winter. We've been in the house. Why don't we just find something fun to do on a Saturday? <laughs> and then... When I it's know, just, I'm only laughing because I know where you're going with yeah. this. And then you shoot out ideas and realize, maybe we'll just stay home okay, and so- play a game. <laughs> So to give <laughs> the real story of what uh, B is talking about here, here yeah, she, we had all of our kids home on a Saturday. Nobody had any sports. No one had anything. We just had everybody. We were like, well, <laughs> we're not going to just sit home on a Saturday. Let's do something. It's the middle of winter. We can't like right. hang outside in the pool and just have a day. So we looked up Top Golf to hey. Let's take the kids. We'll go to a driving range. Let them hit the bu- mm-hmm. bucket of balls or whatever else and have a good time. Different. Seven of us. Let's go. <laughs> it's fun. You know what? <laughs> so we don't have to wait in line or anything. Let's make a reservation. So we go online to make a reservation. I think you have to make a reservation. I don't even know. I think I think nowadays it's like, sure, forget it. So we yeah. went online to make a reservation for Top Golf, mm-hmm. And because there's seven of us, we need two spots, they said. Mm-hmm. And then meal service to with the reservation. Oh, because we thought, we'll just get dinner there. Yeah, we'll just get dinner there. <laughs> and they wanted, I think it was just <laughs> about or over $700. Six, yeah, $700. I think, yeah. I, to be honest with the figure, I think it was $680 yeah. pre-taxed yeah. and no, no tip. tip. Right. $680 for the seven of us to go play golf for... An hour and a half, was it? 90 minutes? I think two hours. All right, two hours. Including food. Two hours but and including food <laughs> would have been Doesn't basically a hundred dollars a person. Right. So then what for a family of seven who doesn't care about golf. Not at all. Like and none of us play. I think that Sorry, Mike. You, oh. Depp's Fury. husband. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why I felt need to. I was like, none of us play golf. Sorry, Mike. Like, none of our kids are drinking alcohol. Like, because I think the drinks are like included, which is I don't think so or something. I don't think even the drinks were included. Uh, Six eighty. But I'm thinking when you get that amount of people, at least you could split it by couples. But when you're just taking your family or like a even a birthday party, okay. No, every time we, me and you go to a Knicks game, which you know I love to do, oh yeah, forget. we take like, the kids in like um, singles or pairs. Yeah, so we've taken just James, just James, James Joseph and Bell, Bell, and now we have we've taken just Anthony, Anthony, and now we have to take the girls. Yeah, we've talked yeah. about taking the girls, yes. but we've never could been never able- take everyone. Yeah, think like oh, yeah. let's take all seven no. of us. And go to a Knicks game yeah. because it's just we'll watch it on TV and put some popcorn in the microwave. <laughs> So it was always great. Watch Every, the Goonies. Yeah, we watched the, go- <laughs> the Goonies. We watched the Goonies the here. Family of seven, thirty dollars worth of candy, mm-hmm. and we made a whole bunch of popcorn because we have this fun thing that we do movie night in our house. 
but all cell phones get put away in yeah, a basket or whatever else. No one would watch anything if we let them with their phones. <laughs> right. And all de- all devices go away. No one yeah. has no one has anything. We Which cut is off. good for us too. Yeah. Speaking of that, let's get our phones. We should get for our next phones. Week. <laughs> Don't try to think that you're I bringing. I thought that was cute. No, that don't was think a that cute you're bringing segue. me into this. I'm going to segue this uh, into <laughs> What the Are we doing next, next week? week. <laughs> All right. That was good. I no, thought that was, was good. Was good. Uh, you're just mad we're, I thought of it first. I know. I'm mad that, you know, I want to run these things. <laughs> Saturday, Anthony's got basketball. I'm just Sorry, I'm not it. there. Yes, you're he has a game. Him? Oh, I'm bringing Josiah, his friend, Okay. to watch him. Josiah will sleep over, and then I'll drive them to their football in the morning. In the morning, okay. Yeah. James and Isabella are going to get dropped after they have a family party with Sylvia. Saturday night? Saturday night. Okay. They're going to get dropped here whatever time, late. Okay. But they'll sleep here as well. So we'll so have Josiah, them- Anthony, and... What's his name? James. That's my son. Was it? What's his name again? I couldn't think of the third one. Well, uh, all our kids and Josiah. Yeah, yeah. all yeah. our kids and Josiah. But I just met the three boys in the, yes. in the boys' room. I will drop them in the morning. I'll go coach okay. CrossFit. Yeah. And then Josiah's dad will drop them back here. By what time? By 11. Okay. And then they're, everyone's here to go with my brother and Kathleen. To the I'll escape take, room, which they're so excited for. I'll, I'll take so James and Bell to possibly church in the morning. Yes. I'll offer it to your girls. They're always willing to go to the church. They are, yeah. I know. I know. Monday, uh, my kids just have religion, really, okay. and then dinner at my mom's. Do we have darts again starting? I don't know. I think we do. We may have darts. Yeah. It's a whole topic we'll talk about. Yeah, my arm time. is still in recovery. Chris- <laughs> Christine ruined her entire body oh, playing man. darts. Let's talk this about- This is what happens when you're over 40 <laughs> shooting darts. Tuesday, I'm at Rocking Horse Ranch. Yeah. That I'll night. try to go with you. That's what I was going to ask. Yeah. It's our date night. Yeah. I'm I expect gonna... you to take the drive. <laughs> we're going to take the drive. All right. Take my drive. Uh <laughs> Wednesday, family dinner night. Yeah. All right. Maybe your girls might have infinity. Maybe they won't. We don't know yet. Um, and then listen, f- um, the day after that Thursday, I have St. Dom's in the morning, like super Where early. Where is that? In Queens? Uh, no, it's actually in Nassau County, I believe. Okay. But um, but it's going to be early. It's like 8.15 in the morning. I'm doing that. I have to do two okay. shows both before their church. Uh, right. Like their mass of their school. Okay. Um, so I got to be out the door super early. Um, so I got to talk to you about that because I got to figure out if James and Bell sleep over Wednesday night, how are we getting them on the bus? Okay. Right. That's all. Okay. Got you. Because normally I would take them to the buses, mm-hmm. but I don't know if I can take them to the buses and then get them to there, but I don't know if you're able to get them to the bus and get to work. So it's like this. All right. Well, look at that. Friday. Anthony, basketball practice basketball Thursday practice. night. Jesus. No, that's Thursday night. That's Eight Thursday? Tonight. You have it on Friday. Nope. It changed. On mine, maybe it didn't Oh, you know what? Here's yours. the thing. Ready? You have Anthony uh, no, basketball have practice. on both. 8 p.m. And then it goes re- all, all the, the way, way to Friday, 9 p.m. I just changed it. All right. Oh, I see. It's like. <laughs> no, you have, it for, you have it for 26 <laughs> hours. Seemed, it's basketball practice. Very serious. <laughs> it's very serious. 26 hours of basketball practice. All Love right. you. Love you. Bye.